Minister for Education and Member for Sinobundi, Jimmy Uguro, opened his report in Parliament today by emphasizing education as a priority of this government and thus heavily investing in it. The endorsement of the government's tuition fee-free policy, the exit of outcome-based education and replaced with standard-based curriculum, teaching and procuring and supplying of science equipment and material kits at the schools of excellence, and the integration of food into the formal education were some of the achievements. In 2021, we have increased our enrollment in food from 30,000 to 55,000 enrollment throughout the country. It called us to expand teacher colleges and teacher or technical colleges to double their intake. He added that the Prime Minister also called for all the schools to teach business and commerce so there is a direct link between the education system and the micro, small and medium enterprises. Uguro said the department has taken Prime Minister's instruction into the education's overarching goals. Goal number one is to ensure every child is educated by grade 12 by year 2027 and number two to ensure every child going through this system receives topmost and quality education. He added that these goals are work in progress, summarizing that the purpose is to increase access to education to grade 12 by year 2027. A review of Education Act 1993, Mr. Speaker, was completed in 2021. Our Education Bill 2022 will be brought to Parliament soon. All secondary schools will offer quality food to all students and higher education takes such of teacher training. He said Southern Islands Province has taken the lead in the integration of food with a provincial food headquarters already built in Mendy in 2021. A few others will follow soon. Frida Kana, TV1 News. Thanks for watching TV1 News. Please like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest news.